Hello viewers, welcome to linuxhelp.com. Now I am going to explain how to install DirectX CMS application on Ubuntu 18.04. First of all, DirectX is a free and open source headless content management system written in Backbone.js that provides a feature rich environment for fast development and management of custom database schemes. It used to manage the content and providing a feature rich environment for rapid development and management of custom database schemes. The direct CMS application requires a server to functionally based on LAMP setup on your system and requires some of the PHP modules. In my case, I have already installed and configured LAMP setup on my system. So I have to proceed with the installation of direct CMS application on my system. Now I am going to download a direct CMS application package using the following URL. Then hit enter. The package is downloading now. The package has been downloaded now. Now we can list out the files and then here we can see the downloaded package. The downloaded package is a zip file, so we need to unzip the package using the following command. Then hit enter. The unzipping is completed now. Now we can list out the files and then here we can see the director CMS application directory. Now we have to move this directory into the default HTML directory. And then here I have to mention a destination. Then we have to change into the following directory. Then hit enter. And then here we can list out the files. And then here we can see the director CMS application directory and then here we have to change ownership and permission of the director CMS application directory using the following commands now I'm going to create a new virtualized configuration for accessing a director CMS application And then here I have to create a new file. Then hit enter. The file is open now. And then here we can proceed the virtualhost configuration. After making the virtualhost configuration, we have to save and kit from the file. Then we have to enable the site accessing for new creation of virtualhost configuration. Then we have to disable the default site access. Then we have to enable the rewrite module. Now we have to restart the Apache service using the following command. After restarting the service, we need to open a browser. The browser is open now. And then here we have to give the following URL. And then here we have to mention a local IP address or a domain name. So I have to give my domain name. Then hit enter. The site is open now. And then here it will show on a warning message to enable the extension so we have to open a terminal go to the director cms document directory and then here we can restore the files and then here we can see the composer file so we need to install a composer package using the following command then hit enter The composer package is installing now. The composer has been installed successfully. Now we have to run the following command. Then hit enter. The, the composer package will execute resolve the entire dependency packages for director CMS application. The dependency installation is completed now.
now we can open a browser and then here we have to reload the page the prerequisite is resolved now and then here we have to choose the language for using a director cms application and then here we have to configure the project detail and also give the detail of admin user credential after making the configuration we have to click next and then here we have to configure the database detail in my case i have already created the database and database username and give the privileges to access the director cms application database so here i have to give my detail after configuring the detail we have to click next the site is open now and then here we have to check it out the configuration after checking the configuration we have to click install the installation is complete now now we are in a login page of director cms application and then here we have to login with the help of using admin user credential then we have to click login the site is loading now the the site is open now now we are in a admin control panel of director cms application and then here we can see the major using components in this way too you can install a director cms application and ubuntu 18.04 Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel Linuxel. If you want to further more videos, please visit www.linuxel.com. If you have any queries, please mail to support at linuxel.com.